What's up my people, bless up on yourself, welcome back to the channel, leave a like on this video and also subscribe to the channel and click that tap bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel. So as usual my people, I have some things I'm going to share with you guys. So we're going to kick it off with the knockings and clappings we're going in a St. Catherine this morning where two men drop out and one man injured. So I have a look at update upon that my people. You see me I say? The police are theorizing that an ongoing family dispute is behind Saturday night's double M-U-R-D-E-R at a bar in Gregory Park, St. Catherine, in a G-U-N attack that also left a third man hospitalized. The deceased men are 46-year-old Cedric Crooks, otherwise called Gungo, a farmer, and 47-year-old Michael Manley, otherwise called um, Bada Bada a groundsman they are both from the same addresses right the injured individual is said to be an elderly man reports from the police are that the three men were patrons at a bar located on main street when they were pounced upon by a gun man who opened fire hitting them the gun man then escaped in the area the police were alerted and the men taken to hospital where Crooks and Manley were pronounced dead and the third man was admitted in serious but stable condition. Crooks, who was injured in a shooting incident in 2017, was killed a day after celebrating his birthday. So I don't know what kind of family dispute a Guan people were caused this for happen. You know what I mean? But sometimes family catch up over some look of simple things and them whole grudges you understand and it escalate to something bigger no somebody died you know what i mean and family and family can have disagreement but me not think if you reach yes a virgin you understand me i say me not think if you reach yes where somebody get clapped and drop out you understand so me don't know if the two man them in a family dispute because them no say them related or nothing. Them just say them they are from the same area. You know what I mean? So maybe family dispute are going and this a man yeah, and the next man a friend and him in a vibes with him family and him take a side. You see what I say? The only thing a man for do a ball peace. You see me? So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And if there is any update, I'm going to share it with you guys. You see me? Farmer allegedly robs other farmer of cash and legal machine. Six months after a farmer was reportedly robbed of his license firearm and $70,000 in cash when he went to Hopeton in St. Elizabeth to purchase a cow, the police have charged another farmer for his alleged role in the robbery. Malcolm Lynch, otherwise called Rick, a 26-year-old farmer of Warminster, Warminster, St. Elizabeth, is charged with robbery aggravation and possession of a prohibited weapon. The police are currently searching for an accomplice. Reports are that on May 2, 2023, a farmer went to Hopeton to purchase a cow and was allegedly pounced upon and held up by Lynch and another man. The two assailants proceed to rob the now complainant of his license firearm $70,000 in cash and his wallet containing bank cards before fleeing the scene. A report was made to the police and a probe launched into the development. After months long probing, the police apprehended Lynch. He was subsequently positively identified by the complainant and an identification parade and was booked for the offense last week. Lynch is expected to appear in the St. Elizabeth Parish Court early this week. So, a farmer, rubber next farmer. And people, cow deer, you know, 70 grand, the man care for buy a cow, you know. I mean, you say cow deer and that. I think me I watch one, me I watch one thing when them be show ground did I go on couple months back in August, right? And I see a man a show one cow and him show one goat. And the man say, both of them have about one mil. 
You believe that, people? One million for your cow, one million for your goat. Because I'm saying the goat and a normal goat is a big breed goat. You see me? I say, but if you feel um if you kill a goat them people and sell it back sell the meat back by the pound you can't make back your money you see me i say so you have to buy that the goat there just for raise it you know what i mean and get other goat from it so anybody that sell them goat there you know what i mean you have to go sell it for that price there because guess what you can't just Feed a goat, they call them, them the goat, they good as I forget injection and them something there. You know what I mean? And it costs a lot to keep them go, them, them type of animals there up. So maybe that's why it costs so much. You see me? So you tell me in the comment section if you don't believe, say, a goat can sell for a meal and a cow can sell for a meal. Leave it in the comment section. Because me did surprise when me hear, say, hear him say, a one million for the goat and a one million for the cow. You see it? So we are going to move on, people. Suspect in triple knockings and clappings dead by COPS that are the police, them the cops in Mobile. Investigators from the Independent Commissioner of Investigation have commenced a probe into Friday night's KILLING of a man who allegedly engaged members of a police team in a firefight in St. James, the parish that is currently under a state of public emergency. The police have identified the deceased as David Wang, who was reportedly a person of interest in last month's triple knockings and clappings in the historic Sam Sharp Square in Montego Bay. Reports are that about 7.30 p.m. a police team was on patrol on Princess Street in Montego Bay when Wang was SHOT in an alleged firefight. He was taken to hospital where he was pronounced. Following the shootout, an illegal firearm was seized, the police said. So people, you see, after the knockings and clapping they go on, a sham sharp square, I think them did a keep a candlelight or something for a youth to get can and drop out. I think a two person, first them did report say one person drop out and that was a female. You know what I mean? And I think them report say a next person drop out also. But me see, on the next channel, them say boy, a three person drop out from when it just happened. You see me I say? So leave your comment in the comment section, people. And the one you are breaking news. You see me? A jerk man can up and drop out. See? Popular jerk chicken vendor. SHOT and him drop out in Westmoreland. See? A popular jerk chicken vendor was reportedly SHOT during an armed robbery at his jerk stand along the Landilo Main Road in Savannah Lamar, Westmoreland, on Sunday morning. He has been identified as 41 year old Errol McDonald, otherwise called Jerky. The police say that about 12 30 a.m., McDonald and a teenager, teenage boy, were at his jerk stand when a motorcycle with two men approached them, the pillion disembarked and pointed a firearm at them and robbed them of two phones and an undetermined sum of cash. The gunman then reportedly opened fire hitting McDonald in the head before escaping. The police were summoned and on arrival, McDonald was seen lying in a pool of blood. He was transported to the hospital where he was pronounced. D E A D. Jano Star. So, them robbed the man, and that wasn't enough. Them did have to call him up to Jaja. So, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. The reason why I see a breaking news is because I just see it. You know what I mean? So, it happened last night. Right? So, bless up on yourself, my people. 